Hey Scorpio, it's going to be a love reading for you guys, okay? General love reading. So let's see. Patience. Somebody's lacking patience. Let's see what the energy is here for you guys right now. Show me the general energy of the collective right now, please. Energy for the collective. We're using the mer messages for mermaid deck. Hope. Okay, good. So you you do have hope about something. Our spirit is telling you to maintain your hope. There's a wish fulfillment here, something that you're wanting very bad, something that you're wanting to come towards you. Maybe you, this is you wanting to speak with someone. This could be you looking for a perfect job opportunity or a business opportunity. This could be related to love here. This could really be related to anything. But patience came out in reverse. And on the bottom of the deck, it says letting go. So there's something here that you guys um, maybe need to let go of to receive something else. I know that's a hard pill to swallow. Uh, you know, I really do. So let's let's read patience in reverse because obviously, you know, that's a really <laughs> patience is ooh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's hard sometimes, you guys. I know. I'm 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 a Scorpio with Taurus in my chart. Patience for me is like, oh spirit, what's taking so long? So patience says it's helpful to let go of any expectations and surrender to life as it reveals itself. The reward of patience is patience. Oh, okay, spirit. <laughs> this mermaid is being patient. She trusts life and in the process of allowing her path to unfold in front in the most perfect way, okay? She knows the universe doesn't make mistakes. She, so she waits in the watery depths knowing all is well and what is meant to be will be at the right time. Yes, she has wishes and dreams, hopes and fears. There's that hope, right? But she doesn't allow them to interfere with the unfolding of their of her life. And his or her, I know this is a female, but you could be a male too. And this part of her experience means being patient. So whatever it is you are hoping for, right? We have hope here again. It's important to trust and practice patience at this time. You could be trying to focus on something else to distract your mind from any yearnings, okay? Perhaps someone around you needs to be patient or maybe they're being impatient with you. If the latter is the case, you need to clearly and lovingly tell them you can't be rushed in this situation, okay? So if somebody was trying to rush you into making a decision, you speak up for yourself and tell them you need time and for them to be patient with you, okay? When you're able to practice patience, everything flows in a more natural and harmonious way. The pressure of expectations and hope takes a back seat, allowing peace and space to prevail. Or prevail. If you're feeling impatient, ask yourself why. Do you feel like something will be taken away from you? If whatever it is is waiting for you doesn't happen or appear quickly, if this is the case, know that what is meant for you won't pass you by. The simple explanation, when you deeply and fully understand, should set your mind at ease, at rest. So yeah, what, whatever is meant for you will not pass you by here, even if you guys are feeling some form of hope or patience right now. Just let go of control issues. Spirit is here for you um, and supporting you right now. Try to find something else to focus on. I know that's hard to do, but watch a comedy show. Go outside. It's the summertime, you guys. So go be hot boy summers, hot girl summer, and enjoy yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We it, we have like, I feel like we have like 3.5 seconds to get it together, okay, for the summertime. And when I say get it together, I mean like if you like being outside, you want to be cute, you know what I'm saying? You want to put on your 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 boy shorts, your coochie cutter shorts, or whatever that is. You know, you want to put on your bikini or your trunks. And be outside and you're like, oh, I need to lose some weight or I need to go exercise. Um, yeah, maybe go exercising will help you get your mind off of that. What else here for the collective? Thank you. We have trust your vibes. Ooh, trust your vibes. Look at this. Peace and harmony. Okay. Thank you, R uh, Raguel, for surrounding my life in harmonious light. Okay. So Imagine yourself being surrounded by a white light, yellow light here, okay? You have peace and harmony coming to you if you let go. That's what spirit is telling you. You can still maintain your hope, okay? What's supposed to come to you or what you're asking for is definitely not going to pass you by, guys. But trust your intuition. Trust your vibes. Um, trust that you are being guided, okay? Trust that your good is what matters. What you're feeling 
is real, okay? All right, let's see here. What else do we have for the collective? We're going to get into love here. We're just getting a couple messages. You know, some of this stuff can apply to love to you guys. So just make sure you're, you know, you watch the whole reading here because sometimes these readings can take a left turn and you never know where they're going to go. What else should the collective know here? What else does the collective need to know, Spirit? First house. Fixed moon. Blue moon. Ooh, see, yeah, there goes your hope. Whatever it is you were asking for, it's like, yes, it's coming. Once in a blue moon, something happens, right? Something spectacular happens. Really, really good. So there's going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Whatever it is that you're hoping for and wishing for is going to be good. Okay, so this is love and you're wanting love. This is spirit saying, listen, it's coming. Be patient. Have hope. Focus on something else. And then when this comes in, you're going to know. You will know it's not going to pass you by, but whatever this is, you may be feeling like it's impossible. It's not going to happen, but whatever it is, it's going to be so rare and good. It's like good karma. Luck is going to be on your side here and don't miss your chances here. But I feel like you guys, you're not going to miss your chance because what's meant for you is not going to pass you by. So good energy here. Fixed moon. So you could be an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Leo, um, or a Taurus. This is about you staying strong, okay, standing firm, uh, but not being stubborn, right? Peace and harmony. Find some balance there in between standing your ground and just being stubborn, okay? Patience is needed. We just talked about this. You see how this is said? It says patience is needed, okay? Don't be stubborn. Patience is needed right now. You need to concentrate your energy on something else, but don't back down and continue to be strong. Continue to be strong, you guys. You, you have it in you to be strong. Then we have the first house, all right? And the first house is about your ego, okay? This is about uh, being grounded. Uh, there's a new beginning here, something happening, maybe even a form of an awakening here too. And trust your body. Um, I use an affirmation all the time. I say to myself is my body knows what's best for my health and well-being. Um, so maybe that's something that you guys need to focus on in your affirmations every day. Some of you all are focusing on your body right now. Remember I was saying like hot girl summer, hot boy summer type deal. And I was like, go to the gym, focus on that. So maybe you've been thinking about doing that here um, and just doing a total makeover, or doing something different here or focusing on your physical, mental body. Stay grounded in when you're doing that. All right, let's see. Your life story hasn't unfolded yet. Yeah, see, whatever this good thing is that's coming to you that you're supposed to have patience about, it's like a wish fulfillment. It hasn't happened yet. It's coming towards you, but it hasn't unfolded yet. And this card reminds me of the wheel here. This is like moving forward, good karma, divine timing. This is a divine... Whatever this is, is coming towards you is definitely divine and it's definitely going to be rare. Okay. Oh, hold on. Drop the card. Look at this. <clears throat> Venus fell, fell across the room and on the floor. So this is about love. Okay. So this is good. This is about romance, harmony, relationships, wealth. Okay. Attraction. This is female energy here. Divine feminine energy. Okay. So... You can be a male and still be in divine feminine energy. Just apply this where it fits. So this is telling me there's a love story here that hasn't unfolded yet. So y'all might have love coming in, looks like. A really strong, uh, passionate earth element. So I could be talking to an earth sign right now. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could have a earth sign coming towards you uh, that wants to offer love to you. But this, whatever it is, it's going to be solid. Four of Wands energy is going to provide stability to you. This person is going to be practical. This person is going to be patient. Um, this per person is going to be somebody who is like cultured and well-traveled. Okay. This is somebody who loves nature, somebody who's really, really grounded. Okay. And grounded is showing up here several times. So make sure you're doing whatever you can to stay grounded. And then the bottom of the deck is we have fire elements. So this is also passion. Okay, instant attraction. So this could also be a fire sign coming towards you or uh, you could be a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, whatever this is, though, be spontaneous. Okay, and I think that this is also has something to do with you, like meeting somebody where the attraction is going to be instant and strong. Ooh, 
okay, let's see. I'm all excited now. <laughs> okay. What cards do I want to use? What cards do I want to use? Okay. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use this deck. Hold on, you guys. My spirit tells me to use a certain deck. I have to. So hold on. I'm coming. In one second. Okay. We're going to use messages of the love oracle now, okay? Okay. Spirit, show me what else is coming towards my collective. What else is coming towards my collective here, please? Balance, like I said, balance, groundedness. Um, I love this. Okay, then we have your intuition again. Spirit of saints, remember, spirit said, trust your vibes, right? Trust your guidance. You already know the answers you see. You'll know. Okay, you'll feel it. You'll feel that that this is this person coming towards you is the right. Oh boy. Listen, somebody from the past that there could have been an unequal give and take here. <sighs> Coming in, somebody from the past is showing up. So Spirit is saying, trust your intuition. Think about, is this person ready to give you what you're looking for? Because I feel like in the past, this person, one person was giving more than the other. All right. Addiction. Double energy here. This person could also be uh, obsessively thinking about you, okay, and wanting to communicate support. So this person is, like, talking to their family or they're talking to someone they trust about you, about the connection or about reaching out to you, okay? This person is definitely leaning on some form of support right now from someone or somebody in their inner circle and trust. So spirit is also telling you to... You have the trust and support from them. Trust your intuition, right? So <clears throat> if this person comes back towards you, just know like uh, it may be safe for you to take, take a leap of faith with this person here, right? I also do feel an energy of something new coming towards you that is rare, but there's some past energy here showing up where there's someone that you know that there was an imbalance and things. So maybe this person's coming towards you and in a more balanced um in a more balanced life here. I mean, a more balanced way. Let's see what's on the other side of the deck. But they're afraid that uh, you may reject them. Okay, yeah. See, they're afraid that you may reject them. So Spirit might be telling you, wait, don't respond to this person right away. Think about something. Think about it very long and hard. And then trust, trust your intuition. And then here's patience showing up again. So Spirit is saying everything will unfold in divine timing. There's something here strong, strong, strong about divine timing. I don't know. Maybe Spirit is saying, hey, you might want to weigh your options because you have somebody else coming towards you. You know what I'm saying? Who is um, pretty... <clears throat> better seems like to me i mean some people want the past some people do not you have free will you can do whatever you like i'm just telling you the energy that's showing up here show me what else for the collective please into the unknown proceed proceed without knowing what the future holds conquer your fear of the unknown trust it is safe to trust your intuition, trust your vibes, okay? Like Spirit is saying, they're here to support you. You already know the answers you seek. Don't be afraid to take a leap of faith and jump into the unknown and walk through that door, okay? Maybe even let go of the past here. That could be the key if you want this to work with this past person. All right, you could be dating someone that will be very dominant. It's up to you if this kind of relationship, if this is kind of relationship that you want again the, i i i i you know i'm getting two things here remember we talked about balance somebody giving too much or somebody not giving enough here so just be mindful and careful of that pay attention trust the signs 
that you see, believe them, believe what somebody shows you who they are, okay? New romance, I told you, yes! <laughs> you got new love, thank you. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? I'm just so happy to see this new love keep popping up for you because it's like, you know, these past people always show up and I'm not saying this past person had to learn their lesson. It's possible that they did and it's possible that you might still want them back, but new love is finding your way towards you, okay? It's gonna be a positive new experience. Don't be afraid to take a leap of faith towards that new experience because you are actually going to be finding peace and harmony peace and harmony in this situation for sure okay again this says a new love interest will be easy to get to know like i said smooth and <clears throat> smooth and steady and relax and see where the boat goes period 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 what's that girl on tiktok what she say period i mm, oh period <laughs> Oh my God, that was hilarious. Every time I see that video, I'm just like chuckling because it's so hilarious. I keep cutting the deck and I'm seeing the eight of wands and the king of wands here. So somebody wants to communicate and talk here, fire sign energy. They don't have to be a fire sign, but the king of wands is somebody who takes action. They're adventurous. They're fun. Okay. Um, mm, but we'll see. That could be the past person too. Okay, yeah, there goes that past person thinking that you're going to reject them. Four of Cups. Thinking that you're going to reject them. Mm. Thinking that they could have missed this opportunity with you. Okay, Taurus energy. There's that Taurus energy we saw earlier, groundedness. Okay. I feel like that could be you. Or this person is like thinking they missed the train when it comes to commitment with you or having a long-term relationship with you, okay? Yeah, that's what it is. Ten of Swords, they are thinking they missed the boat. The boat has sailed, okay? The ship has sailed, period. Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Oh, this Ace of Cups just flew... It was upright and it flew in reverse. Ace of Cups, this person thinks that you, they can't renew this. They think it's over. They think they do not have a second chance with you. They want it, but, and they're definitely still holding on to you, by the way. I don't know. I feel like you maybe let go, but somebody else is having a hard time letting go. Four of Pentacles is, is stubborn energy here, so I don't know who's being stubborn with you. <clears throat> or this person could have been stubborn. You know, we did see dominant there was a dominant personality here and then there was more of a submissive personality. There was something here that was out of balance. All right. The Six of Cups. Yeah, this person is thinking about you. This is definitely a past person. Six of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They're thinking about the past and, you know, they want to make things right. Libra energy here, Justice card. They want to make things right. They do. I, again, this is totally up to you. If you want to do this, let's see how you're feeling. Okay. <laughs> let's see how you're feeling let's use a different deck how is the collective feeling about this past person how does the collective feel about the past person ooh page of cups in reverse wow you definitely feel like they may have been emotionally manipulative to you or they could be a little bit immature here and they owe you an apology and you never received your apology. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Water sign energy. How does the collective feel about this past person? You Are you talking to this person? Because it's like, Queen of Wands in reverse. Wow. You could be a fire sign here. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. You feel like this person is not was non-committal, maybe? Temperance. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius here. So there's that. You lost patience with this person, okay? Or you feel like this person didn't have patience. Hmm. So you may feel like somebody is a little promiscuous here, or they were a player. 
There's some sense of jealousy here, too. I don't know what that's about, but I'm not going to go deep into that. How does the collective feel about this person? How does the collective feel about this person, please? You are, like, not... You don't have anything to say to this person. Like, these cards will not come out. <clears throat> Five of Swords. Hmm. You feel like this person was a little manipulative. Okay, when it all costs energy, this is Aquarius energy here. It's like there was a power, definitely a power struggle between you and this person for sure. Somebody wanted to be wanted to be the dominant energy here. And yeah, that just didn't work out. Um, you also do, you know, you didn't want to fight with this person. You you really didn't. You don't want you want any conflict. And you did want teamwork, but you feel like this person wasn't being a team player. They wanted to be in control. How does the collective feel about this person? Somebody here may love to fish, okay? Or get on a boat. Page of Pentacles. You feel like all this person offered you was just like something small. Like what else are you gonna what else do you have to offer here, okay? What else do you have to offer? I'm just saying, bottom of the deck is a ten of wands. This was a burden for you, you know. This it felt a little overwhelming dealing with this past person. All right. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what this new love is about. Let's move on from well, let me get hold on. Before I move on to the new person, show me what else about this old past person here. How's this past person currently feeling now? They feel like you shut down and you're not talking to them, like I said. Okay um take yeah you're they feel like you <laughs> you're gonna reject them for sure how's this past person feeling about the collective they're looking you up online you guys they may have a fake profile they're researching you studying you watching you stalking you on social media Okay, they're asking family and friends about you or somebody, okay? They feel like you did get away and they feel like they did miss an opportunity with you. Like I said, that's that four of cups energy. You know, you're like the one who got away. Um, and, you know, they just weren't ready at the time, you know. Whatever this person had going on, it wasn't the right time. And now they're like, dang, I wish I had it. Yeah, player energy. I told you that Queen of Wands showed up in reverse for sure. They were too busy wanting to be a player and play the field and have their cake and eat it too. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. They found out it was not. Okay. That might be why spirit is telling you to trust your intuition if they come back towards you. A closer look, nosy, up in your business. Okay, so this person could also think you might have multiple options too when they're trying to find out if you've moved on and if you're dating somebody or they think you have multiple options. And they should. How about that? They should think that. Epiphany. They feel they're having an epiphany, their realization. They realize how empty their life is now that you aren't around them. You know what I mean? Dust it off. Yeah, you're like, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> you know, or this person's really trying to do everything they can to deal with the fact that they feel like they've lost you forever. Okay. All right. We're going to, in a second, move on to this new person. Show me more here for the old person. Only you. So it's like, oh, now they want only you. Okay. They're like, I'm not seeing anybody else. I'll drop whoever. So this person may come back towards you and tell you, yeah, somebody chose somebody else. <clears throat> or they're afraid that you chose somebody else. Okay. Uh-oh. Too busy winning. Oh, boy. So this person is watching you win, do better in life. Or they're concerned that you've moved on here. All right. I don't know who's giving money to who, but maybe they were giving money to somebody else here or this person may want to gift something to you. I don't know. Let's move on to the new person. All right. Spirit, show me the energy of the new person coming towards the collective, please. Let's find out about that. Show me the energy of the new person, please. Ooh, a Gemini. They could be a Gemini. Ooh, uh, they could be a Libra. Oh my gosh, this new person is good karma, better karma, balance. They're gonna be. There's gonna be an equal give and take. The past person there was like an imbalance in who wants control. This person here doesn't have to have control. Okay, 
they don't. They have balance. They're going to bring you peace and harmony. Look at that. New love. They want to talk. They're their love offer. Their new person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I love this. For you, the devil. They could be a Capricorn. They're obsessively... Um, it, it, remember, we saw the card earlier where there's going to be a lot of attraction intense, strong desire, you're going to know right away. I think this person is going to be really, really attractive to you. Um, show me more about the new person. This is major arcana. You know, all major arcana, this is, remember we saw earlier, like once in a blue moon, like this is a, a life-changing connection here. This is a big deal. Show me more about the new person. Yep, that Knight of Cups. They want they're emotionally available for you. They, this is a new love offer. They're obsessed with you. Um, show me more about this new person. I love this energy. Five of Swords. They're gonna be willing to do whatever it takes. This person's gonna cut out the competition. They're gonna do whatever it takes. If you have options around you, this person's gonna do whatever it takes to cut out the competition. And there's that page of cups on the bottom of the deck again. I'm telling you, this person's going to do everything they can. Um, there, there's gonna, not going to be any competition when this new person comes around. Okay. Show me more here about the new person. Ten of swords. So they may have recently uh, ended something with somebody here or come out of a bad uh, situation here where they were hurt and betrayed by somebody from the past. Show me about this new person. Yep, that page of cups is coming back out. Tell me about the new person. Show me about the new person. Six of cups. It could be a soulmate. New person, please. Whoa, this is rushing towards you. Okay, this card flipped over too, which is the Nine of Swords. So there is a new beginning rushing towards you, the Fool, um, Aries, Aquarius energy. Then we have the Hierophant and the Queen of Wands. So this person's going to want, uh, this person could be very spiritual, by the way, here. This is rushing towards you. Um, Taurus energy, Leo energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. So they, but they are going to want a commitment, okay? They're going to want something long-term. This person is very wise. They're going to view you as the queen of wands. They're going to have a lot of passion and desire for you. You see what position this came in and right, like your past life soulmate, there's going to be a strong, strong attraction, physical and spiritual bond here with the devil and the hierophant, okay? Very, very strong attraction here. I don't know what this nine of swords is about and four of swords and three of swords. Jeez. And there's that Ace of Cups and Reunion. So listen, for some of you all, this this could be the past person's energy coming up to just apply it where it fits here because this person, this past person, like it's, their energy is so strong for you. But just know that you do have a new person coming towards you. So that's a beautiful reading, you guys. Um, I love you. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell on to all.